Lucky is an artist who I have a lot of respect for. He's been putting out music for a decade and his discography doesn't fear away from giving insight into dark themes, with Lucky's music being very introspective and delving into his own struggles with relationships, drugs and more. One thing I really like about Lucky is that his songs have this raw emotion you can feel in his voice and it's clear he's not just rapping out of a desire for money and that he genuinely really cares about it and sees it almost as an outlet for his emotions. Personally, I found Lucky's music to be comforting in times when I felt down and just generally think he's a really good artist and it's been really satisfying seeing him gaining more attention these past couple of years and so I thought that in this video I would do my best to cover his story from his early upbringing, his rap career and even more. Lucky Camel Jr was born May 30th in 1996 in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up, Lucky had big dreams of rapping and would find himself looking in front of the mirror, acting as though the mirror was the paparazzi. I had big dreams of rap since I was a kid. Cause I used to like walk past the mirror, act like mirrors of paparazzi and shit when I was like a little kid, for real. I always wanted to be a rapper. It's clear he had a vision for his future and those around him in his youth would often tell him he was good at telling and writing stories. Really, I was just good at telling stories. Like that's what it was. I was just good at writing stories and like, like I didn't really even know that at the time, but like people came back like start telling me about that. Like, However, Lucky didn't channel this storytelling ability into rapping until he grew up a bit more. And after seeing Chance the Rapper perform at the Chicago Public Library, it made him really want to start rapping and writing. Moreover, he would also cite Lil Wayne as being one of his biggest inspirations. Nobody was better than Lil Wayne. As well as Future, Chief Keef and Young Fug. In his freshman year of high school, Lucky's friends would praise him for how good he was at rapping, and this led to him finally taking the step to start making music. However, Lucky wouldn't be in high school for too long, and around the time he was 16, at the end of his sophomore year, he would drop out of high school, as he didn't enjoy it, and also because from here he wanted to fully pursue music. The first ever song Lucky released was a song called Pretty Ho Smoke Reggie, and Lucky would go by the name 97 around this time, but only a little while later, in late 2012, Lucky officially began his music career under the name Lucky X, with the name being a combination of his first name and the last syllable of the drug Xanax, with the dollar sign S being inspired by ASAP Rocky, who Lucky was a huge fan of at the time. So I was just a Rocky fan, I was just being a Rocky fan. Yeah. When I had the X in my name, it was just some ASAP Rocky fan shit. Lucky's first song under this name released in late 2012 and was called Master Plan, and the song takes a boom bap style and still holds up to this day and shows just how talented Lucky is. Lucky released his first music video Untouchable Lucky on the 22nd of January in 2013, and this video was published on the Elevator YouTube channel, which essentially acts as a platform for artists to show their music to a wider audience. Lucky was able to get featured on the channel because of his friends Anton Bryant and Kevin Wright Jr, who were interns for Elevator and got the attention of the co-founder Brian Zalocki. From here, Lucky got the opportunity to work with Elevator more, and they would produce another music video for his song, Everything Outside, in May 2013. Lucky's style at this stage in his career is definitely a lot different to what you may be used to now, but nonetheless, he was immensely talented. His songs had a grungy, psychedelic feel, which differed from a lot of the other music being pushed at the time, and this meant Lucky would stand out, and begin to attain a following. From here, Lucky would continue to push out music and released his debut project, Alternative Trap, when he was 17 years old. This project featuring production from one of Lucky's close friends, Pluto Nash. This project has Lucky rapping about his life in Chicago and his experiences with selling and doing drugs. However, Lucky has now stated that he doesn't really like the project, but despite this, the project was very important for Lucky's career, and the distinct style he had on the project gained him the attention of music blogs like Fake Shore Drive, Elevator, Complex, noisy, as well as other artists recognising Lucky's talents, with Lucky working with FKA Twigs on a song called Ouch Ouch in July 2014. The next month, Lucky's second project, Body High, dropped, with Lucky being even more introspective, rapping about his addictions with Xanax and how he went from being a drug dealer to a drug user. It was from here that Lucky would start to bring even more attention to himself, and the same month he had a song with Danny Brown, which was released by Red Bull Sound Select, called Waiting On, as well as also having a song called Stevie Wonder release in December of 2014 which featured Chance the Rapper, who was one of the people who inspired Lucky to start rapping in the first place. Oh, so real nigga bro. shit, folk. Before I made Alternative Trap, folk, yeah, like, we was studying y'all niggas, folk. Folk, you know that song, Paranoia, folk. Folk, that song made Alternative Trap, folk. At the start of 2015, Lucky started to tease a new mixtape through the release of numerous singles like None Other and Low Life. And on Lucky's 19th birthday, on May 30th of 2015, he released the project, Lucky stating in an interview with Lyrical Lemonade that he planned for X to be his breakout mixtape. I wanted it to be the breakout. Like I never had really I never really had intentions for my last two to be breakout tapes. You know, I just 
I just knew it was solid. Then six months later, Lucky released the first instalment of the Free Wave series, with the project being a compilation of 10 freestyles. In the project, Lucky had definitely refined his sound even more since X, which was only released half a year earlier. At the start of 2016, Lucky announced that he would be changing his name, with Lucky claiming that the X at the end of his name was childish. And that he'd outgrown the name. Later on into the year, Lucky dropped a sequel to Free Wave called Free Wave 2, which had Nirvana inspired cover art, as well as also dropping an EP called Son of Sam, which was named after the alias of a serial killer called David Berkowitz, who killed because he wanted to obey the orders of a demon manifested in the form of a dog, belonging to his neighbour Sam, with the cover art also being one of David's letters. Lucky spoke on using the name Son of Sam for his project, and essentially said it was a metaphor to his own personal demons, and how his vices control him. However, by the end of the year, Lucky had to take a break from music due to personal issues and struggles with mental health and drug addiction. But in April 2017 he came back with a new EP called Days Before Storm, which was the first instalment to the Days Before series, and this project shares the same cover as his album Watch My Back, which released under a month later. And the next year he would drop a sequel to Days Before, but it wasn't until 2018 that the third instalment of Free Wave would release, with Lucky first announcing the album on Twitter in July of 2018, and saying it was better than Days Before. Eventually on February 4th of 2019, the album dropped, with some really cool cover art, which was inspired by DMX's album Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. Lucky has stated before that this album was very important for his career and life, that he saw the album almost like a diary, where he'd write his feelings and vulnerabilities, with the main topics in the album being about Lucky's personal struggles, like those with drugs, women and fake love. This album's got a really interesting backstory as well, with the album being tied to a significant year in Lucky's life, as in the year he had moved from Chicago to New York to be with a woman, and Lucky has talked in an interview with Pitchfork about how the first half of the album was recorded whilst he was in love, and the second half while he was heartbroken, with Lucky saying in a mini documentary with The Fader on his life that his time in New York was incredibly lonely, and being alone was all he could think and rap about. This is definitely my favourite Lucky album, and I still listen to it really often. It's clear that he put his all into this album, and the album really just acts as a reminder that everyone, no matter their position, can suffer. And with this album, Lucky isn't afraid to show that to his audience. And I think this authenticity Lucky can show to his listeners makes him really relatable and his music more comforting. Following this album, later on into 2019, Lucky dropped another project called Days Before Free, with the cover art paying homage to Chief Keef's album Almighty So. This album was really good and demonstrated Lucky's ability to continuously put out projects of a really high quality and also at a fairly frequent speed. This album also featured some of Lucky's most popular songs, like For the Better, Randomly, Geeked, and Me, Myself, and I. After this, Lucky in 2020 became affiliated with one of his biggest inspirations, Future, and would become a part of his label called Free Bands. Following this, Lucky dropped two EPs in 2020, Almost There, which is one of my favourite Lucky projects, and the world is Lucky's, and in December 2021, Lucky released his highly anticipated debut collab project with the producer Filthy, called Wake Up Lucky. From here, Lucky is supposed to drop another album called Flawless Like Me, which was originally supposed to drop in 2019, and Lucky just a week ago said that the album is now finished. Overall, I think that Lucky is someone who's developed greatly as an artist since he first started putting out music, and he's definitely immensely talented. In general, I just like how Lucky writes from the heart, and how from this he has developed a fan base of people who relate to him, and I think that with time, Lucky will only continue to grow artistically. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.